we will prove the linearity of expectation. So here you can see the theorem and uh, it states that for two real numbers a and b the expectation of a times some uh, random variable discrete random variable plus b times some discrete random variable equals a times the expectation of x plus b times the expectation of y. We plug in the definition and get this nice little equation here. And what we want to do with it is tear it apart right in the middle by using the distributive law. And this plus here allows us to uh, basically tear this thing apart into two sums, one that contains a and x and the other one containing b and y. Now, just for example, we will just look at what one of those sums will look like. So without the B and Y, uh, one, of those, uh, uh, one of those sums will look like this. Now, what you can see is that you can just take this A, and write it in front of those two uh, sigmas, because A isn't much bothered by the change in X or Y within the sums. Also, you can take this x here and plug it in front of the uh, second sigma because the second sigma only changes y. Okay, so this is uh, for the, the first sum and in the second sum we will delete this. Uh, again, take this b, plug it in front of both, uh, both of those sums and now we will change the uh, order of those sums. So we will have an x here and a y there. And now we can plug this y in front of the second sigma because we're um, in after the second sigma, only the x is being changed. All this will look like that. Um, yeah, so I've just explained what we're doing here. Now in the next step, we must realize that in this uh, sum here, for example, we iterate through all the x's but never change the y. So this here actually um, can be rewritten much easier like this. Oh, well, I've changed the example, but it doesn't matter. Okay, we, we um, sum over the support of y so we actually saying here, well, we don't really care for how probable y is because we just will accept and sum up all the possible values of y and but x is left alone. So the probability of x actually stays the same while we sum up all the probability, uh, prob uh, all the values of y. So what we are left with is just the probability of x. Now this is also called the marginal probability mass function. You can look it up if you want to go a little bit deeper into it. Yeah, oh, sorry. Um, so we plug this in and what we have now is, so this sum here, for example, just vanishes just as this y here. And what we are left with is this sum, which, well, is the expected value of x and the age is just left alone here and this is exactly what we want for linearity and it's the exact same thing with this uh, product. So yeah we have actually proven our theorem this was pretty much it QED. Thank you for your time.